All right, so this is uh, US Tech, which is NASDAQ. So I'm taking buy trades here. And you can see this is not something that I normally do, but this is like a, not the main account that I'm trading. It's just a separate, small, tiny account. And yeah, I just want to, you know, give you the reasons why I'm taking this buy, right? So if you look at, it's just a short-term trade, guys. It's just a short-term trade. So I'm not going to go to the monthly chart, the weekly and whatnot. I was just start around here, right? Yes, I understand that, you know, you know, the bulls have been moving all the way to the upside and then they reached somewhere there. And then all of a sudden, the bears, you know, pushed them down and forced them to break this low, right? They broke this low, which means that what the bulls were doing, pushing to the upside, has come to an end because you can see their trend line has been removed and this swing low there has also been taken out. But now there's this support here or this area of demand, which is very strong because if you look at how it was formed and how it took off and it is still fresh and as much as the price hasn't touched it, you know, you can see the price hasn't touched it there, but that's, that's more like you have to now to make your decision because there'll be times where a zone will be missed by a peep, but then already you are seeing signs of reversal. So now you need to try and, you know, decide whether you're going to wait and give it, you know, benefit of the doubt that it's going to go and touch it. And, or you're going to say the reaction that I'm seeing or the sense of uh, reversal that I'm seeing, maybe the price is just already feeling the heat from that strong area of support. And then it wants to go up, which is what I'm going with. It can go in my favor. It can go the opposite way. We will see. But if you look at the current or the, the current sticks that we have had there, over the past uh, 18 hours or so it's around the same area where we were struggling before we broke it now we are coming to it from the other side but the best one would be to take it from there but what we're seeing here with the price trying to you know give us the you know reversal signs that's the reason why i wanted to you know i went in and took it right now this is what we're having on on h1 right the price has been dropping, 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 and then all of a sudden it came, you know, to this low. You know, the bulls tried to push up, but they failed. They didn't go anywhere. Now the sellers are pushing down again. So now it's a matter of saying, are the bulls going to defend this newly formed swing low that they just formed? Or are the bears going to take them, you know, take it out? Which means if they take it out, then that's when they will have a chance to come down here and also we can still search for buy trades from there but that's if we break that low for now this has a chance to push up to at least you know just get in that direction and see if we can you know get in that direction to the area of resistance that is the one that uh, pushed the price down so this is a very interesting area you know it looks like the price might be going there looking at the candlesticks that we are forming recently but at the same time if we're failing to defend this then the sellers will have a chance to go there and that's when you will search for new buying trades but you know for me if that that one is taken out because like i said the account is very small and i am opening multiple trades so if it gets taken out there i will cut my losses and then i will wait again inside here right but for now i'm going with the, those uh, this pin bars here pushing the price to the upside so that's what i'm gonna ride with so we're gonna see how it's gonna go now so i will update again after a couple of um couple of hours you know so i'll just let it run and then update again after a couple of hours so this is the law that i'm saying should it be taken out the bulls will have a chance to push to the other side and you can see the bulls have been trying trying but they didn't go anywhere and what they're trying is just come to an end but when you're looking at the h4 it says that there's a chance of us pushing to the upside you know this is a uh, resistance that pushed the price to the downside breaking the short-term bullish trend line but it's also not a good uh it's not a strong area of resistance because it's formed by a lot of pin bars there which is why i have all these buy stops you know not taking it into consideration because of what i'm anticipating that it has a chance of being removed all right, guys, so this is what we have, and that's the loss that is currently running. Like I said, this is a very small account, so I'll update you guys again after a couple of hours.
700 trillion.